hello babe welcome welcome to my channel if you would like to see how i achieved this bantu tribal looking knots keep watching so i use this hair extension that is available you can use any one i cut it into two equal parts and uneven the ends so that it won't unravel i use an oily spray on the hair ties to make to reduce the to make sure it doesn't cut my hair though so here i'm parting i am making parts for the two braids coming to the side to the front by the sides i wanted two braids to come towards my face from the middle so that's what i'm doing here but i can say outrightly that the braids were nowhere perfect like braiding from the back to the front was a challenge for me even though i fast forwarded through the video you can see it was a struggle and the braid the braids weren't even neat <laughs> but well i made it work so you can see obviously i was struggling with that braid it wasn't it wasn't the braid was up it wasn't coming close to my scalp but yeah i braided it maybe i will try to insert a video of the inspiration why i wanted these braids to the front because i saw a video of that and liked it it didn't occur to me that it would be so difficult to braid the ones at the side Although they all came to the front, those ones were easier to braid. This is the only difficult part of the hair for me. <laughs> at this point, I took a smaller mirror and looked at what I did and God. <laughs> it was really, really funny. The braid looked. <laughs> now I can understand what people who are learning how to braid go through. Like when I watch their hands, I'll be like, how difficult is it? It's so funny to watch people learning to braid that's exactly the experience i had here but well i made the second braid because we keep moving you know <laughs> and my hair is relaxed short relaxed hair although it was a little bit due maybe you can tell from or I have new growth in you can tell from that so I wanted two braids on either side two bantu knots on either side of my face so I'm just using I am sectioning off the braids and using a rubber band to hold it I didn't use any edge control or any gel to part the lines and make it better because I felt I was <laughs> making just a temporary style so you can see the four in the back in the front i'm trying to use my ears to be sure of where my pattern should be and it was okay i proceeded to part the back in two i had just two braids there although <coughs> some days later i changed it to three just felt like the braids were too scanty so at this point I was done sectioning off the whole hair I didn't count how many but you can see they are not small sections but because okay so at this point I am joining the one of the braids the braid on the left I turned it over to the right and joined it to the first braid closest to the other one <laughs> where you can see what i mean i just crossed crossed the two braids so that i'll have them across my forehead and proceeded to braid the individual braids so the video i watched at first the lady braided to an extent like this then started rolling the hair and that was what i did but along the line I just felt like because I want this hair to be a little bit more versatile, I would I would want 
the braids to be complete individual braids so that I can take down the bantu knots and just have single few single braids and wear it that way so after that first braid I didn't make any of them halfway again I had to finish the braid so that it would be like an individual braid whenever I get tired of the bantu knots I can just unknot it and have it as a single strand that was why I finished up the braid so at this point I proceeded to complete the remaining braids I sincerely apologize for the quality of this video it was raining for two days at a stretch and I, was, I needed to make my hair I needed to film a video I just tried to use the little lighting that was available I apologize for the lighting of this video and it was already getting dark so when I was done making the individual braids I started knotting it so in knotting this you really have to be aware of what you're doing because if you're not careful you feel as if you're strangling your hair and that's really painful so I do not knot towards the to the towards the root of my like close to my scalp until I am getting to the end of the braid that way I reduce the tension so this was the next day I actually unraveled the two strands closest to my the side of my face right because it was disturbing me when I was trying to sleep so I just took those two down I unraveled the knots and now I'm trying to make the two braids that are supposed to come towards my face this braid was neater and easier than the one on the center of my head I'm not even sure why but I guess it's easier to assess those ones because once your face is turned to the side it's so much easier to pretend you're braiding to the back <laughs> The braid was pretty decent compared to the middle one. The middle ones I couldn't even see my scalp because, oh yeah, <laughs> I couldn't see my scalp. So I was checking the length I wanted the braid. Just look at that. I actually forgot or left off that little braid. I later snipped it away. I just cut it off instead of losing the braid. That I suffered to braid to my front. I just cut that one off and it didn't it wasn't a problem. I promised you it wasn't a problem. So this first braid I made to the front today. I added the hair extension as a feeding braid. But this second time I was like no need. I just used the whole extension at once and started braiding. Of course the transitioning will not be smooth. It won't have a pointed a tapered end from the beginning of the braid but I didn't care because I felt as if the bantu knot closest to that can even lay on top of the beginning of the braid oh my god this braid can be painful like when twisting when doing that if you're not careful you feel really as if you're strangling your hair so be careful with that so I went round and round and round when I was up then once I'm getting to the end of the, the braid I then go round closest closer to my scalp that way I'm not tight making the hair too tight so I didn't have a bead or anything like that I used a bobby pin to attach the beads as you can see and it worked fine so that was how I attached it to the extension and through the bead. So after laying my edges, I liked the hair as I was looking at it, but I just felt like that space in the middle didn't flatter my face shape or like I just, I wasn't sure about it. So I had to check. So that's the length. 
sit down you see the space in the middle I didn't like that so I just use something black to see how it would be if I have a braid there and then with this yeah I was sure I needed a braid there so I just used a crochet pin to attach a little hair extension through one of the braids I braided to the front so I couldn't pass the whole extension at once I just attached a little passed it through and then used more braiding hair to braid to that and I had a center knot there which I felt flattered my face more so you see how I braided the hair now so I, I, I got another hair extension because I didn't pass the whole big extension through my hair there. So after braiding this, I felt as if the, the hairstyle suited my face better. Some of the knots were looking as if they were dancing around. Like I wasn't sure they would hold up so I just used those tiny rubber bands, the black ones too make them stronger so this is the hair at the end so this is another day I changed my mind that braids in the middle they looked too bad so I just braided it to the back <laughs> I do I unwrapped it and braided it to the back and it was neater and better thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe bye Mwah.